This month in Outer Banks history, radio pioneer Reginald Fessenden established his operations on Roanoke and Hatteras Islands. Inventor Reginald Aubrey Fessenden was born in Canada in 1866. He graduated high school at age 14 and eventually moved to New York to work for Thomas Edison. He was hired by the United States Weather Bureau in 1900 and made the first transmission of intelligible speech by electromagnetic waves while stationed at Cobb Island, Maryland. The Weather Bureau was so pleased with his success that they decided to expand their experiments, erecting three towers at Hatteras Island, Roanoke Island, and Cape Henry, Virginia for Fessenden to use in his tests. He transferred his operations to Roanoke Island in December 1900, living with his wife and son at the Hotel Roanoke in Manio, and commuting four miles each day to his workstation on the north end of the island. His experiments led him to invent a new kind of receiver that made it possible to transmit broadcasts hundreds of miles, when up to that point the maximum range had only been about a mile. It was here that Fessenden sent the world's first radio music broadcast, and the furthest broadcast up to that point, 50 miles between Roanoke and Hatteras Islands. Fessenden only remained on the Outer Banks for about a year and a half. His relationship with the Weather Bureau soured when his supervisor, Willis Moore, began insisting that he be given a share in the patents for Fessenden's inventions. When Fessenden refused, Moore began reassigning Fessenden's staff and cutting off his resources. Fessenden finally resigned in anger in August of 1902. Moore attempted to continue experimenting with broadcasts between Roanoke Island and Hatteras for a few months after Fessenden's departure, but soon both stations were closed and all the equipment was sold off. Although he is now recognized to be a seminal influence in the development of modern radio technology, Fessenden's work was historically not as highly regarded as other radio pioneers, like Guglielmo Marconi. This is partly because he was highly secretive and protective of his work, but he was also not very popular with his peers and said to be standoffish, combative, and egotistic. He began to be recognized for his accomplishments later in life and after his death. In 1929, he was awarded the Scientific American Medal for Outstanding Achievement in the Field of Marine Safety. And in the 1940s, the World War II destroyer escort ship USS Fessenden was named after him. However, despite the establishment of a Fessenden National Memorial Association in Dare County dedicated to preserving his legacy, Efforts to commemorate Fessenden's work locally never materialized, and today, the sites of both Fessenden's workstations have all but disappeared. For more information on Reginald Fessenden or any other topic in Outer Banks history, come visit us at the Outer Banks History Center. We're located at Roanoke Island Festival Park across from the downtown Mania waterfront.